Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM. Our theme tonight is artistic deception. And up next, a story that also throws in twisted love, casual criminality, and murderous betrayal. From director Fritz Lang in 1945, it's the film noir Scarlet Street. Robinson stars as an average middle-aged Joe, complete with a monotonous job and a stereotypically nagging wife. Painting brings him his only joy, that is, until he meets Joan Bennett, a beautiful young woman he rescues from an attacker on the street one evening. When they meet again, she talks him into setting her up in an apartment, even though it means he'll have to resort to drastic measures to afford it. Meanwhile, Bennett has some connection to Dan Duryea, who plays a shifty louse. By the way, I should tell you, most louses are shifty. Though Robinson might be getting played, he also might not be the sucker he seems to be. Scarlet Street reunites Robinson, Bennett, and Duryea with director Fritz Lang one year after making another successful noir, The Woman in the Window. Not long after, Lang, Bennett, and her husband, producer Walter Wanger, formed their own independent production company called Diana after Bennett's oldest daughter. Scarlet Street was the company's first production, but its second, Secret Beyond the Door, also directed by Lang and starring Bennett, would be its last, due in part to the clashing personalities of Wanger and Lang. Scarlet Street was a big success despite, or perhaps enhanced by, the notoriety it received when censor boards in New York, Milwaukee, and Atlanta banned the film entirely, citing it as being, quote, licentious, profane, obscure, and contrary to the good order of the community. I like it when censor boards essentially write promos for the movies they seek to ban. From 1945 in all its sordid glory, here's Scarlet Street. <laughs> 